Hello! Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. That's right. Soulcaster Episode 4 was chewed up and spat out and vanished into thin air, courtesy of my temperamental video capture card. It was completely destroyed. You know, for someone who spends so much time working with, playing with, or otherwise being around technology, technology shows me very little loyalty. Anyway, I need to laboriously enter the password to get back to where we were before. Before the beginning of my previous ill-fated episode 4, so rejoin me in a second. Okay, welcome back. Now that my thumbs have been thoroughly abraded by the lengthy password entry ordeal, let's get on with things. Now you might remember that we actually did this level in episode 3. Unfortunately, because I'm a complete dunce, I exited and saved and took down the password and everything before leaving the screen. So, it actually saved on this screen rather than the beginning of the next one. So we have to do this again. And bearing in mind that I've played the game before, and I've now had something like four attempts at recording this episode, I've played this level a lot, and I'm growing a little weary of it. So I'm going to try and make this as painless as possible. And for anyone who's wondering why I didn't use the sort of... Um, save password feature that a couple of you have pointed out exists in Soulcaster. The reason is I did this level. I got past it and then I saved the password for easy loading the next time but the recording got completely messed up so now if I just load the password I will end up on the next level not this level and you will all be mortally disappointed not to see the correct stuff. Oh god, what is it with these blue rats? They're just unspeakably powerful. Get away from me! Okay. Scroll of Ruin. Call all this lot back. Throw down some Aoxes. Another Shadu. Let's pump everything I've got into these orange zombies. God, the or orange zombies are so inconvenient. Because they... <sighs> you can't use blood fire against them. And nothing else is really that effective. I mean, they can take down an Aox without too much difficulty. Piss off, Bat! What the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, let's deal with this rat and then the White Reaper. Like this. Pull your weight, blood fire, you big pansy. Okay. Now, a blue reaper, that's less severe. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, we're actually starting to get from there. We are somewhere approximately in the direction of finally finishing this bastard room. After a million attempts. Come on. Come on, get on with it. Don't just leave me standing here watching you. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know. Look at that! They just completely took out everything. This is ridiculous. Hey. Come on, finish off the rat. Okay. Oh, more white reapers. No, white reapers, no! Come on, Shady, take out the bat. Don't make me scroll and ruin it. That's not what I'm here for. I'm an old man. I shouldn't have to go into fights. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, scroll and ruin says then. Inconsiderate whelp. Okay. So, run. Run away from the blood fires before they explode. Jesus. All you have to do is breathe on blood fire and he blows up. Like a 12-year-old boy. Or, from what I remember of being a 12 year old boy, anyway. Since I, I'm not, contrary to popular belief, a middle aged woman. Despite choosing to drink gin. Not while playing Soulcaster, in case you're wondering. Anyway, that's enough of that digression. 
we should be mostly done with this room. We just need to clear up the dregs down this end. Which is something I seem to spend a lot of my time doing. Not, a, not in Soulcaster, just generally. And now, spoilers! There's a cunning trap. No! Reapers! Sorry, went all Commander Shepard for a minute. Oh yes, I can refer to other game. Come on, get back. All was ruined. Frigging Reaper, piss off. <laughs> that should have been dialogue from Mass Effect, actually. Frigging Reaper, piss off. Mass Effect's done the British way. Oh god. Okay. I remember this now. Run! Run! Run, Gandalf the Brown! Run for your life! Throw down the odd allied to stall these armies of bats that are flying after you. And run! Up there! I think last time I ducked into that house and took out as many as I could, but there's no point. So, I just legged it this time. Okay, don't know what's going to happen here, even though I played it quite recently. Nothing good is ever about to happen when some grisly old warrior says, Here they come. I feel like I'm in Zulu, suddenly. Anyway, take defensive positions. Well, what did you think I was going to do? What have I been doing the rest of the game? Well, okay. In fairness, I suppose I've spent the rest of the game not, in fact, taking defensive positions, but just spamming my allies wherever I feel like dropping them. Wherever I happen to be standing at the time. Come on, guys. I'm relying on you, my harem of younger men. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if we can trap them in there. That might work better. Yeah, that's not so bad. That kind of worked out. Ugh, take out the bloody rats. Rats everywhere! Uh, it's like Soulcaster's Adventures in Hamlin or something. I don't know. Come on, Bloodfire, help out! Don't be a recluse! Okay, now deal with this little bastard. Yeah, take that. Stupid creepers. Oh, bugger off! I'm sick of your ratty hijinks! Making me use a scroll of ruin as well. Ugh, how embarrassing. Can't control a rat problem with mere brute force, I have to rely on magic instead. Ugh, the disgrace. I'd be a terrible pest control professional. Okay. I think we're mostly done here. There's some odds and ends to wrap up, but nothing too severe, I think. So lob down some blood fires to attack over this wall. And now I'll run away. Okay. Tackle that. Tackle the orange zombie. I uh, don't know why I put the blood fire down there. Completely futile. But I don't need to tell you that. You've been paying more attention than I have, no doubt. Come on. I'm amazed Bloodfire managed to take out that bat there. Generally, Bloodfire's about as effective in direct combat as I am. That is approximately as effective as a five-year-old girl. Not that a five-year-old boy would be any more effective. In the interest of gender equality, there. Rat plague! No! But of course I'll battle rats in the only way I know how. With knights and fireballs. That sounds like an indie game, actually. Knights and fireballs. Oh, get away! Bloody rats! And those blue ones are particularly irritating because they're as strong as the Hulk. 
Okay, pick up this red bag of enormous slag. Or rather, enormous red bag of presumably normal sized slag. Pick up some more bats. Another scroll of ruin, which actually I wasted by picking it up when I already had a full complement stuffed in my pocket. Okay, I thought we were getting close to wrapping up this area, but clearly not. And this isn't the most efficient use of my allies, really. Using up three of them just to wall off that enormous corridor, I could really choose my fights a bit more carefully. Don't fight me! That's the purpose of having allies! That's the only reason old men ever keep young men around. To distract bats. I know that's why I keep younger men around. Uh, every time I think we've done with this, more bats come sloping shamefacedly out of the distance. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Alright, you'll notice that this is kind of linear. Like it, it's a winding corridor, a bit like queuing at Universal Studios. Except unlike Universal Studios, Every now and then, you'll inescapably step on a button that will release hordes of enemies. Actually, that is kind of like Universal Studios, except there the enemies are called staff. Ho ho! Anyway, pressing on, before I attempt to make more jokes, here we go. Masses of rats! Not so much Universal Studios, more Alton Tower. For those of you who also reside in my home country, Rat Fest, which is probably an actual festival somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. It's the kind of thing my brother would go to. Rat Fest 2012. Get away from me! God, Bloodfire, you're such a pansy! What the hell's wrong with you? You call yourself a warrior? What kind of warrior literally explodes when he sees an enemy? And then tell me it's not when he just sees an enemy. I mean, they, they barely even touch it. Like, you know, if, if you were that flimsy, then just eating breakfast would cause you to explode. God, blood fire, it's such a waste of space. Apparently, at some point, I used up all my health potions, and now I only have 22 health left. Well, let's see what I can do. Soften them up with a scroll of ruin, grab another scroll of ruin, whack down some decoy Aoxes. Which sounds like a reject from Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Who else here played the original Metal Gear Solid when it was new? And yes, yes I know, pedantic people, I know it wasn't the original Metal Gear. The original Metal Gear is solid. Okay, Aox. Yes. You can fight rats. Well done, you powerful knight of justice. That reminds me, I've never spoken to anyone else in the world who also remembers King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. The cartoon. Anyone else? No? Just me? Well, if you- Ah, oh, shit balls! <sighs> well, we're already over 15 minutes, so, um, I'll leave it there. This time I will, uh, actually save the password, so I have to try again. Pause, and then save password. And I should be able to conveniently load it the next time, rather than having to laboriously type it in. Anyway, leave a comment below if you actually remember King Arthur and the Knights of Justice being on TV. And rejoin me the next time for episode 5 of Let's Play Soulcaster. <laughs>